So teachers in this country losing their jobs for trying to protect their children from efforts to sexualize them. In the Drupa School District in California, teachers are prohibited from telling parents when their children are, quote, transitioning to another gender. So your kid could be getting castrated or chemically or physically, and you're not allowed to know that. Jessica Tapia teaches in that district. She refused to comply with the policy. She said it violated her Christian beliefs as well as her basic responsibilities as a teacher. So she was fired for that. She's brave enough to join us now along with her attorney, Brad Dacus. Thank you both very much for coming on. Jessica, first to you, I assume the other teachers in your district complied with this grotesque order. Why did you not? Uh, great question, Tucker. I'm truly afraid that many other teachers don't even know they're under these directives. I didn't know I was under these directives until I found out. And when I found out from my school district that I was under these directives, I chose to speak up about them and stand my ground and stand in my faith and beliefs. And that's when they said, that's going to be an issue. You have to comply with these directives or your job is on the line. And so I chose... I chose God. I chose to stick with my Christian faith. And because of that, they released me from employment because in their words, they could not accommodate my religious beliefs. But I mean, you were also, and bless you for doing that, and you should do that, but you were also siding with parents, all of whom, no matter who they voted for in the last election, you'd think would want to know if their children are being castrated, like their children. Don't you think parents want to know? Yes, I think parents have the right to know everything about their children, and I will not partake in withholding any information from a parent. I'm a parent myself, and I would be very upset about that. So this fight is not just for the sake of my job loss. This fight is for the protection of all children. This fight is for the preservation of parental rights. Well, amen. But Brad, is this, since you're the attorney here, is it legal to fire someone for refusing to hide essential facts from parents who are the guardians of, ch of these children? Yeah, this is a clear breach of public trust and it's a clear violation of her Title VII rights. She was fired not because of the job she did, Tucker, she was fired because of her religious beliefs. And mind you, uh, she's not alone. We at Pacific Justice Institute, we're representing hundreds of people, employees who are fired because of their faith. And the issue is, is also one of the parents. They're scared, Tucker. Right now, they, don't, they see all of what's going on. They're horrified by it. And it's for that reason, on our website, we've developed uh, customized opt-out forms for all 50 states where parents for free can download opt-out forms, start learning what their rights are, uh, as well as the material that's being given to the kids and their grandkids throughout the country in public schools. I mean, Jessica, I have to ask, were there, and I, and I know what the answer I want to hear, were there teachers you work with who came up to you and congratulated you for your bravery, I hope? Uh, you know, Tucker, I'm being totally overwhelmed in the best way possible with hundreds Good. of teachers reaching out to me, um, telling me that they're ready to die on this hill with me, that they completely align with my views on this, that they are ready to stand up to this beast with me and stand for the protection of children and stand for parental rights and, you know, stand for the fact of the matter that as Christians, we, we can also be in the public sector. And at this point, I feel that I was told, you need to choose one or the other. Do you want to be a yeah. public school teacher or do you want to continue practicing your Christian yeah. faith? Well, good for you. Uh, we be, we're always mean to teachers, but I married one. And I know there are a lot of wonderful teachers and you're obviously one of them. Thank you both for joining us. Thank, Thank you, you Tucker. So much.